Well, absolutely. It has been widespread. We're at the Hale County Emergency Management offices. We had hoped to get a, a story out to you tonight, but uh, the whole town of Sawyerville is without power, and uh, we've been really struggling here. But let's tell you what we know tonight. It's a very sad day across Hale County. Widespread damage across highways 14, 15, and 30. Now, 30 is where the real problem happened at about 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, our photographer, Mel Stevens, did shoot uh, some video uh, of what was remaining of a double-wide trailer that really took the brunt of the tornado's fury in the 4 o'clock hour this afternoon. Four people inside that trailer. One woman was killed, apparently instantly, uh, under a beam. Three other people in that trailer were literally thrown across the road uh, and uh, were critically hurt. Uh, the EMA director here, Russell Whedon, doubles as the chief paramedic here. He said he has not seen injuries this severe ever in his 33 years, so he wouldn't be surprised if the death toll rises. Those three critically injured people were taken to DCH in Tuscaloosa. Five other people were injured as well, uh, one suffering a broken ankle, some bloody noses and bruises, but it is the three people injured critically they're most worried about. Now, as for this town of about 2,000 people, we're talking about Sawyerville, just about the whole town is without power. I took a little tour outside, lots of homes damaged, much more heartbreak will be revealed in the morning, I am sure uh, of that. You'll see some of the damage. Utility crews are working throughout the night. Now, if there are folks within the sound of my voice who are without a place to stay tonight, you are to go to the Liberty Baptist Church in, uh, should say, the Greensboro Baptist Church uh, in Greensboro, and the Red Cross will assist and get you some shelter. At least that's the hope tonight. But for now, by the numbers, it's certainly tragic. We have one dead, three critically injured, five others hurt, and a whole slew of homes and businesses damaged or destroyed. We are live at the Hale County EMA, and we'll try to bring you some more information as we go. Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.